diagnosed with HIV in 1991. I, it took me three years to get into care and treatment, but within three years I knew that if I didn't get care and treatment that I would die from the disease. At the time I sought care and treatment, I realized that I was pregnant. And the doctor told me in 1994 that I was going to die. My child would be an orphan and probably more than likely be HIV positive. Well, a miracle's happened 20 years into the HIV AIDS epidemic. I'm alive, I'm well, and my child's HIV negative. I, I think absolutely that for me, the reason that I'm alive and that I have a 16-year-old HIV negative son is because of the Ryan White Care Act. Without medication and treatment and without research that was done, um, my son would not have had access, I wouldn't have had access to antiretroviral therapy um, during the pregnancy. I was able to not be homeless through the Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS program. I can just imagine being pregnant, being homeless, and not having access to care, the Ryan White medications, the case management services, and the full set of support services that came through the Ryan White Care Act is why I'm here today and alive, why I have a HIV negative child who's 16, about to graduate from high school on his way to college. It's why today I live. Without those programs, I can imagine um, I wouldn't be here. If I have one message for the elected officials of the United States of America, that message would be to support the National HIV AIDS Strategy. The second message, I know you said one message, but the second message would be to support health care reform. The third message, and in that health care reform, would be to ensure that um, that we have increased access to care for individuals living with HIV, that we are able to reduce new HIV infections by having sufficient funds for HIV prevention. Individuals living with HIV in the United States deserve health care. They deserve equal access to care. And Americans who are not infected with HIV deserve funding to prevent HIV infection.